Hey, Sam, uh, obviously a tough one. What was it uh, that kind of faded in the second half for you guys defensively and what let Vanderplas kind of get going there? Yeah, um, you know, they, they had a lot of good action on offense. It was tough to guard and um, he broke loose a couple of times and hit a couple of big ones to get to get his momentum going in the right direction. And he made a lot of big plays at the right time. So hats off to him and hats off to Ohio. Next question comes from Hank Kerr's AP. Hey, Sam. Um, I don't know if any of you seniors will come back, for, for, but from what you know about this team, how do you expect they will respond to this? They're going to respond for sure. Um, taking a loss like this is tough. Ending your year like this is tough. So. I know the guys who will come back are going to take this personally, and I think they're going to get even better from it. So um, I'm not too worried about that for our guys coming back next year. Next question from Jeffrey White. Hey, <clears throat> Sam, this, this season has had a little bit of everything, and it's been a real roller coaster ride. How do you think, how do you think you'll look back on this year? I'm definitely going to remember it. It was. Everything was different. It wasn't a normal college basketball year, but overall, I was just happy to be able to play and be able to play a pretty good number of our games. And obviously, you know, this last week has been hectic, but we were just happy we were able to have a chance to play in the tournament. And that's where you want to be able to end your season is in the tournament. And um, overall, you know, it was a good year. We ended up ACC champs. So you can't take that away from us for sure. And i um, definitely happy I chose to come here. Mike Barber. Yeah, Sam, um, I'm curious. Defensively, you guys seem really locked in in the first half. How focused were you on maybe there would be some offensive rust, but defense was going to carry you through tonight? Yeah, I think that it's we've been trying to make that our mentality. You know, defense travels no matter what, even if your offense isn't there. And um, I thought we played a pretty solid defensive game up until, you know, the last couple of minutes where we had a couple of big breakdowns and they got a couple of layups at the rim. But other than that, I thought we played hard on defense. They made some tough shots um, and they made crucial plays at the right time. Preston Willett. Yes, Sam, what have the emotions just been like this past week, you know, going back to the positive case and then just kind of fighting and being resilient coming up to this point and not ending the way you wanted it to, but just to get here? Yeah, you know, it was with this year, there's a lot of uncertainty and you never know when a thing like that can happen. And it, it happened at <laughs> the last possible day it could have happened um, in order for us to play. So uh, we're thankful it didn't happen a day later, but, um, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, it's unpredictable. You just kind of have to just roll with it and do what you can um, when you're not around your team as much. But, you know, it was interesting week for sure, but we were able to watch a lot of film and, and have one practice at least. But um, so we felt like we were confident coming into this game. Brian Smith, WVEC. Hey, Sam, um, just obviously a tough loss, but you know, what do you take away from this season um, as a team, just what you've done, even though it was one and done, but what do you take away from a year like this? Um, I think it showed a lot of discipline out of our guys and a lot of resiliency throughout the whole year. And, you know, we had a couple of times where we had a little COVID pause. Uh, we missed a, f a couple of games. We've had our opponents have COVID pauses, which caused us not to be able to play them. And um, everything was so uncertain. You never know what the next it was going to bring. And that's hard to deal with for however long we've been. And I think we've been on campus since July. So. Just dealing with that, and I think being able to just be around each other and get to know each other better was huge for us. And we definitely got to know each other to a deeper level than I don't think we would have in normal circumstances. So I think that's definitely a positive. And um, the basketball piece, is, you know, I think overall everyone, I think, was just happy to be able to play and have a season because last year got cut short. Next question from David Teal. Sam, you mentioned what a strange year it's been and only having had one practice. 
you guys are the ACC's number two three-point shooting team, and so many shots seem short tonight. I know you don't want to make excuses, but were there some tired legs out there tonight? You know, it was just one of those things where, you know, the shots just weren't falling. I don't think it was tired legs um, at all. I just think it's one of those games where it happens, and it happens to everyone. And um, That's why your defense has got to be real, real good. And I thought our defense was pretty good up until, you know, they made that run in the second half. And um, But you can't make an excuse for not being able to make shots. you got to find other ways to score. And um, tonight we just, we just left some baskets out there that we, we should have made. Bennett Conlon. Sam, going back to uh, Ben Vanderplas, I wanted to ask what makes him such a tough guy to cover. It seemed like he was able to score in the second half, even when you guys had pretty good defense on him. Yeah, he's a great player, man. Um, he's crafty. He's deceiving. He's got a really good shot fake. And obviously, you saw he has really deep range. And he made a couple of bombs tonight. And hats off to him, man. He's good. He He's so sound. He's so fundamentally sound. And um, he's a good player. And he, he helps. He's kind of like a glue guy to that team. You know, without him, I don't know what they'd be like. So happy happy he played well. He's a Wisconsin guy. I know him. So happy for him and happy for the team. OK, uh, I still have hand raised from Mike Barber. Yeah, Sam, thanks for doing one more. Uh, Jay Huff getting in the foul trouble. How did that guy's impact you? Uh, I mean, yeah, no, that happens. And um, that's the, the next man up mentality. and. I thought we had good minutes from guys off the bench to fill in when he was off the floor. I thought um, guys came in, brought energy, played good defense, and rebounded. And when Jay was in there, he was good. So I think um, it's just one of those things where that's why you always have guys off the bench that are ready to go. And I think um, overall they were good tonight. Thank you. Last question, I believe, from Hank Kurz. Okay, Sam, if we have nothing else, um, we wish you the best of luck uh, in your career the rest of the way, and thank you very much. Thank you. Again, uh, hats off to Ohio. Best of luck to them. And also giving a shout-out from our team to the Virginia women's swimming and diving team who just won a national championship. So congrats to them. Thank you.